Hey, this is Mr. Former Gamer. Just want to make a quick video of my upgrade of my 9900K. Also upgraded my Corsair 860 to a NZXT uh, Kraken X73. Cost $180. I just wanted to let you guys know that my Z390E Gaming motherboard has an AI overclocking technology in it and it's been overclocking my CPU to 5.2 gigahertz just by itself for the last four days it's been right here my percentage has been 44 percent when I first got it, it was 38 percent and that would put me at like uh, 5 gigahertz and then it slowly went up to like 40, I think it was 41%. That put me up to 5.1. Now, for the last four days, it's had me at 44%. And what that is, like you click on your AI overclock, and you can do this on your screen. And you and you uh, start your overclocking, hit overclock. And it will give you a score. Of what it wants to, you know, what what do you think you can do? And then you can also do the five-way optimization. You're supposed to do this first, and like the computer reads what you do as well. And you go in your uh, TPU insight, and I have it on group cores. All right, I already applied it, and my voltage is at 1.3. And I'm like, I don't really don't know anything about really overclocking or anything like that. And all I know is that for the last four days, it's I've been playing games on it, and it, it's been run, running pretty good. And I'll do some uh, stress CPUs for you guys right now while I'm talking. And right now I have it on silent mode. And this cooler keeps my temperatures pretty cool. I mean, it's 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 pretty it's pretty bearable I mean in, in, you know low 75 below 75 and it's just it's just amazes me that I'm at uh, 5.2 gigahertz and you know it's just been running good I mean I, I feel like I'm 5.2 gigahertz I feel like I'm gonna go back to the future or something because I mean I got my 900k I got my 5.2 gigahertz that I don't even have to do. It's just the computer basically said for some reason that I could do 5.2 gigahertz and, you know. But sometimes it goes down. The last four days it hasn't, but it'll go, go down to 41 eventually. Or to 41% eventually it'll go down to 41%. And then maybe it'll go back down to 38%. But 38% is still 5 gigahertz. So, I mean, I'll stop this real quick. Because I, for some reason, won't let me move this. So, I'll go back up to, um, yeah, the dual. So, it, it got me at 44%. So, I'll put my fans on, my speeds on high. So I can hear my fans now. That's how I really cut it. And then I'll uh, do my stress right now. Alright, so all my cores, my V core is 1.3. These stay steady at 1.3. My uh my temperatures are pretty low. I mean I know with my 860, I uh, on my 8700K, when I cl try clocking a 5.2 by myself with not this motherboard, I, uh, yeah, it went to the 80s, 85s, 90s, and uh, I kept on getting blue screens and everything, and it, it wasn't, wasn't good, basically. So, I mean, I just wanted to do this video, and, I mean, anyone out there looking for a motherboard or want to do some kind of up upgrade, or something. I mean, the Asus motherboards are definitely, definitely something to really look at. 
especially with the Z four nineties coming out and the ten nine hundreds coming out. Honestly, this um this uh the NZXT uh X seventy three. I mean a hundred and eight dollars on it. They they had one it was a there was a uh, I think it was a a Z seventy three, it was like three hundred dollars. I was gonna, I was gonna pay do, top dollar just so I could run my 9900K because I heard it runs hot. Just so I could get to five gigahertz. I'm glad I didn't because right now we're where I'm at. What I've been doing the last two weeks since I got this, it's just it's it seems like I I started off straight off the back five gigahertz and then 5.1. And then now I'm at five point two, and I don't know what's gonna happen after. I mean, for all I know, I could do five point three. I don't know. All I know is that my my coop, my I mean, I'm I'm stressing out right now, and it's sixty, all in the sixties. I mean, seventy, sixty nine, sixty eight, sixty seventy. I mean, it's just. It's just below 70, and I'm at 5.2. So, yeah, I just wanted to make this video real quick just to, I don't know, man, just share my, uh, my, uh, my findings on the 900K and the um, Asus uh, motherboards. It's just, the, the, the technology is just really nice. And, uh, I mean, I, I don't know, I'm not, I'm just getting into gaming, and I'm just getting into making videos and stuff and all that. And I wanted to put more videos up and do some more 4K rendering because I, I got a 4K monitor, and uh, that's why I upgraded to the 900K. I wanted to get some more, uh, get some Twitch, get a Twitch channel, and try to get that going. Not really trying to get it too, you know, try to get it too much right now, but yeah, it's just um, let's see, I'll go over here, and stop this. And then the CTRD H monitor just starts moving once when I stop my stress test, then this starts going on. So you know my uh, my idols are always in the twenties, you know, well below thirties. Okay, well there's thirty one, but and then when I check my um, my uh, voltage and stuff, the highest it has is one point three four one. And then my uh, my CPU shows is sixty nine. That's the highest. And then my uh, my these t, t pins, those are pretty low, pretty pretty low. And then I go down here, and then my uh, my voltages don't go up above one point three. And I saw my watts. I don't think it went above one. I don't think I think it got like one thirty five. And then my, um, yeah, my temperatures are pretty cool. I mean, uh, really cool. And then, okay, 133. And then my uh, Hertz is 5.2, and I got all cores on right now. And uh, on my 2080, I got my 2080 jacked up. Pretty good. I got it, uh, what's a plus 88. On cores and plus seven hundred. So, I mean everything. My liquids uh, twenty one. My RPMs two hundred and six. My GPU's thirty one. Yeah. <clears throat> and if I go down here, if I do look at this down here, I got all these things. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I'm not a I'm not a overclocker. I uh, I tried it before on my other one and it, yeah, it didn't <laughs> didn't go too well. But everything is running very well right now, and I just wanted to show that to people and see what people think about this motherboard actually it's I mean it's mainly the motherboard and I gotta say it's my uh my NX NSXT uh cooler also so I mean I 
I want to do some benchmarks, but I mean, I guess I could do some benchmarks. I don't know. I don't know how many. I mean, a stress test. I could do my stress test, but I'll do it again. It just amazes me how it just stays so cool and everything just works out. But all right, that's all I wanted. I right, take it easy.